Two new characters revealed for Yu-Gi-Oh! Go Rush the anime series. Hello everyone and welcome to Dueling with Downton and today we're here to talk about those two new characters that got revealed that we are getting in the next Yu-Gi-Oh! series. So first and foremost, the first character on this list is Sogetsu Manabu. We don't know the voice actor behind this character yet, however we do know that he cracks down on troublesome aliens, a member of MIK, which is an organisation that monitors interstellar criminals. He cracks down on aliens which have come to Earth without proper authorization, and he makes his rounds every day with his trusted partner, Neanderstar. The line about him making the rounds sounds like something Gakuta would have done when being student council president. Checking the school and making sure that no one was breaking the rules. So I guess for Manabu, the rule breaking that he's looking out for is unauthorised alien activity. This more or less makes us aware that his personality is going to be serious and very focused and driven in terms of the goal he has in mind. I do foresee in the future him becoming a little bit less serious and being a bit goofier towards the end of the series of Go Rush, but I do hope he kind of remains this quite stern and dedicated member of M.I.K. Now design wise I think it's really cool the way they've used black and white to make a very interesting character stand out. Design awesome. It gives off a men in black type of vibe to the character, making him look serious which leads me to believe that something prior has happened to him when he's encountered a unauthorised alien on earth. Maybe it was a traumatic experience that shaped him into wanting to join M.I.K to the point where, you know, as a child he had something bad happen to him because an alien landed on earth unauthorised and it kind of gives us a bit more of a darker vibe to the series in that regard. Maybe, who knows. Okay, so let's talk about the next character and we've already said the name, it is Nyan the Star. We do not know the voice actor or actress of this character. But it is interesting that this cat is getting a voice actor slash actress, meaning that it's going to be talking throughout the series. However, it's said that this cat, cat is a thousand mysteries. A cat who has a charm point of a star on its head. They will work with Sogetsu Manabu to find aliens hiding about Earth with their shining eyes. Now, the line about shining eyes does mean this cat might be an alien itself, which begs the question, does M.I.K. actually offer aliens that they find who are there unauthorised an ultimatum? Do they say, work for us and we won't imprison you or send you back? That would be quite interesting to explore if that is the case. Now, I think it's quite obvious that this cat is going to lead Manabu to Yudius and Yuhi, and thus sparking a conflict between them. As I think Yudius isn't an authorised alien, I could be wrong about that though. If this does happen, I want this to spark a rivalry between Yuhi and Manabu, as this would be a conflict of ideals, because we have Manabu who is professionally working for M.I.K, and Yuhi who, after one duel, would think that Eudeus is a good guy and doesn't deserve the unauthorised alien treatment. Therefore we'll see him as a friend. So Yuhi would want to protect Eudeus from Manabu who wants to capture him and go through the procedures that M.I.K. go through. Now then, I've seen a few people say the cat is going to be the next Kaizo, or at least the Kaizo of Go Rush. Now I don't 100% agree with that sort of idea. I do think this cat is going to have a serious personality based on the design and this sort of image that we see of it. The expression and body language uh, kind of shouts out serious, a little bit of flirtatious hint in there as well, but I do believe despite that it would be a serious character that has a certain goal in mind, but at the same time will be comedic in some skits 
as we could see something like a ball of yarn get tossed and it runs after it and acts like a playful cat like you would normally see. Now one really fascinating thing that also got revealed was the existence of a new company in M.I.K. Because this group is different from the one that Yumaru and Yuhi are a part of, as their group is known as ATC. So seeing how each group handles aliens going forward is going to be so interesting. What if we have characters like Manabu sort of defecting to ATC after making friends with Yumaru and Yuhi and Yudius, or after he learns the dark truth behind M.I.K. What if M.I.K. is actually mistreating the aliens that they sort of capture? What about if they don't send them back? What if they experiment on them? Anyways, those are just my thoughts and first impressions of these new characters that were revealed. Let me know your thoughts on them in the comment section down below or anything that I've missed. I'd love to hear your opinions on this topic. Hopefully you've enjoyed this video. Maybe you found it informational. Hopefully like, comment, subscribe, all that good stuff, and I'll be seeing you next time. Have a great day. Alligator, Matane. Goodbye.